Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jessica and I'm the team coordinator here at Thomasville Library. Um, so today, before we do our showcase, um, normally this is a book talk, things happen. So instead, we're gonna be showcasing some poetry selections that we have in the team section for poetry month. Um, and I also wanna remind everybody that there is still time to submit your poetry to the Chair City Poetry Contest. This is something that we're doing with the Parks and Rec Department and the library. Um, so you can submit two haiku or one free verse poem to the contest. Um, the URL is tinyurl.com slash chair city poetry. Um, the deadline is April 30th, so you have a little over a week to get those poems in. So there's still time, we're coming up on a weekend. Um, there is a prize basket and there is a separate team category. So if you're a teen uh, from 13 to 18, get those poems in. Um, they are great for a college resume. And um, you can also check out our workshop videos that Cody here has worked so hard on and they are on Facebook and YouTube. So you can use those for inspiration. And also if you wanna pick up one of these books that I'm gonna showcase today for a little bit of inspiration, you could do that as well. So we are going to start out with some nonfiction selections. So first we have a book called Say Her Name and it is Poems to Inspire and it is by Zeta Elliott. And these are just some quick poems that are perfect for anybody who needs some just inspiration, especially if you're a female. It's got a lot of female empowerment, um, a lot of really beautiful illustrations to go with them as well. Um, this is absolutely fantastic. The next one that we have is When the Stars Wrote Back. This is by Trista Matter, and this is kind of um, one of the freeform poetries that have become so popular recently, kind of like Amanda Lovelace. Um, so it's just very simple, like four to eight line poems with um, some illustrations as well. So if you are kind of like in one of those moody, attitudes and you really want to read something that's going to kind of get you on your feelings a little bit, this is one that you're probably going to want to pick up. Then we just got this one in and you may have heard of Amanda Gorman from the, um, oh my goodness, the inauguration, forgot that word for a minute, um, the inauguration of um, Joe Biden and this is the poem that she read for his inauguration, The Hill We Climb. Um, and this is just the um, poem that she read, just written in book form. Now, this one is one of my favorite writers. His name is Jason Reynolds, and this is called For Everyone. This is just a quick little poem, like I said, about four to eight lines a page. It's very free verse, very flowing. And this is just something that you should read if you are kind of down or you're kind of worried about your future. I know a lot of um, you are maybe moving up to high school or even moving on to college. This is one that you probably want to read if you just need a little bit of inspiration to kind of push you through the last months of school to get you to the summer. Then we've got One Last Word by Nikki Grimes, and this is a very popular uh, writer. And she writes a lot of middle grade and young adult books. And this has a lot of like colorful illustrations with it to go with the young adult poetry feel. And this tells a story. Um, and this is basically a story of the Harlem Renaissance through poetry. So if you are into history, then definitely pick this one up. You may have read Lori Halls Anderson in um, high school. If you were a high school student, uh, she wrote chains and um the fever 1893 or i may be completely wrong on that number but she's written a lot of historical fiction books um and this is her memoir um this is um very very grown up so if you're like a higher high school student this will probably be better for you there are some trigger warnings in there um for sexual assault and abuse but if you want to learn about her life and um, hear about what she has to say as a survivor. This is her memoir in poetry form. Then we have a treasury of American poetry. So if you are just really interested in all kinds of poems, 
This has about a hundred different poems in there from pa famous poets from America. And it just kind of goes from like the early days of America to more recent, probably about like the early 2000s. So that is our nonfiction selections. Then we have a few uh, fiction. So this is just um, stories that authors have written, but they have chosen to write in a free verse form. The first one is Kent State. Um, Kent State happened in 1970 and it was a uh, shooting that happened on a campus. And this is a poetry form of what happened and the account that happened that day. I mean, it's a story about what they went through. Next, we have two selections by Elizabeth Acevedo. She is fantastic. I've read everything that she has ever written. Um, the Poet X, though, yeah, Clock When You Land is a poetry book, too, but The Poet X is a fantastic story. It's won a lot of awards. Even Lori Halls Anderson has written blurbs about it. And then Clock When You Land, this one is about two sisters, and um, they both find out that their father died, but one is in a different country, and then one is in New York City, and they don't realize that they share the same father. So it is them realizing that they both lost their father and realizing that they each have a sister, and it's written all in free verse poetry. We got Punching the Air by E.B. Zaboy, and then she also wrote it with Yusuf Salam, which he is a member of the Exonerated Five. Um, and this is a story about a kid who has been wrongfully imprisoned. Um, and this is also written in beautiful freeform poetry. And then last but not least, we've got Ellen Hopkins. We have a lot of her books here. Um, she has some that are written about more like very serious topics. So if you like poetry and a story that is serious, it's not so lighthearted, this is an author that you should definitely try and pick up. Um, she is a little more mature, um, but this is talking about the like school shooting uh, situation that's been happening for a few years now. It is very serious, but it's so beautifully written. Um, so if that is something that kind of tugs at your heart or that you really enjoy or not enjoy, but you just like learning about and reading about, then this is one that you should probably pick up. She also has some about um, other really tough topics that uh, teenagers deal with. So this is a, an author that I could not, could not recommend enough. Um, and she also writes in that flowing free form poetry. So all of these, they are available to check out. Um, so if you see one that you really want, you can uh, give us a phone call. We can put it on hold for you, or you can come and ask for these. Um, I will keep them all in a section for right now. So if anybody wants to check anything out, then you can. And please remember to submit your poetry to the Chair City Poetry Contest by April 30th. We would love to hear some of your poems and see some of your work. And remember, you could do two haikus or one free form poem. And like I said, that's due on April 30th. If you have any questions about that, give us a call at the library, or you can go on our Facebook page as well. And I believe that there is a link that you can submit it. It's a Google Doc form. So I hope that you enjoyed this um, very impromptu uh, showcase on our poetry selections that we have here. And I will see you soon. Bye.